When you're working in an electrical panel, always wear rubber soled shoes, just in case you accidentally touch something hot. This might reduce your risk of drowning yourself. Speaking of which, I'm gonna put this back on now. This is 14-2 wire. It's called that because all the wires are 14 gauge and there are two wires and one ground. This one right here that's bare is the ground. This one that's white is called the neutral. And this one that's black is called the hot wire. I mean, it's not really hot, but I mean, I can touch it. But I mean, it will be later, I guess, once I hook it up to the circuit breaker. But you know what I'm saying. Anyway. When installing the new circuit breaker, be sure to know what type of breaker you need. If a room requires GFCI outlets, it doesn't need an AFCI breaker. If the room won't have any GFCI outlets, then more than likely it needs an AFCI breaker. Rooms where a water source is present will require a GFCI outlet and will not need an AFCI breaker. Once you've determined whether or not you need an AFCI breaker, be sure to know what type of breaker your box requires. My box uses square D breakers. If you're not comfortable working with a live breaker box, then the first thing you should do is shut off the main breaker. This is going to turn off all of the power in your home, so be ready. Now you can remove the cover. Pro tip, you can use a number two square drive to do everything in the panel. Hold the wire up to the box to determine where to strip back the protective sheathing. You will need at least an eighth of an inch of sheathing going into the box. Then feed the wire into the box. Be sure to hold onto the ground so it doesn't touch anything hot in the box. To install breakers in a regular circuit, you connect the ground and neutral on the ground and neutral bar. They are bonded together. For an AFCI circuit like this, the ground goes to the ground neutral bar. Both the hot and neutral will go to the breaker. The breaker will have its own neutral and then goes to the ground neutral bar. I like to install the neutral and hot wires onto the breaker before installing it. It just seems easier to me. Make sure the breaker is off and then install it by connecting on this side, then rocking it into place and snapping it in. Give it a little wiggle to make sure it is properly secured. Then just make sure your wiring looks nice and neat like the rest of the wires in the box. Leave this new breaker off for now until you have your outlets and lights installed. Then put the cover back on and turn on the main breaker. Be sure to label your breaker in the box. Do not use any abbreviations to do this.